Hey, hey, what's up, what's going on? It's your girl Zayna from Zayna Girl Beauty, and today we have for you a story time. Chad, I'm gonna tell you. I just like came from the gym and whatnot, whatnot, and your girl, yeah, my body is aching. But would you believe that working out was what triggered this story? Like, yeah, and partly why is because it involves my business. I was like huh this is something that i can tell people because now that i look back at it it's funny and two it also has like some a life lesson in there anyways let's get right into this story so this whole thing happened because it went down in the ends that's what happened it went down in the ends like y'all don't understand so I don't know how he ended up there, but he ended up there and whatnot, whatnot. Fine. He go, comes into. Oh no! I post a fitness picture one day, and he drops into my DMs. He's like, "Oh my gosh, your body's amazing!" And whatever, whatever. And how long have you been doing this? And then I introduce him to my business, and you know, we just becoming acquaintances, pretty much. Fine. He asked me for my number. I'm like, no, I don't give my number out on social media. So he's like, I'm we gonna get to talk to you. I'm like, well, I don't really know, you know, but I'm gonna give him a number. The worst thing I could do was give him my business page. Because I gave him my business page, my business page has the contact, my business contact number. So one night, one faithful night, he messages, he calls me but i didn't know he was him calling so i answered because it's my business number so you know potential business hello good night oh hi it's whoever from i'm like okay and then you know i'm like let me try to get through this conversation and he's like um i just love you know the how your business i love what you know you like what your business is about and whatever whatever and you know we started talking about some business and whatever whatever and i was doing my hair at the time so the conversation was getting too long so i was like you know what um i have stuff to do so i'll talk to you some other time so i think that weekend a bag of parties was going on i think it was like oh i think it was during the easter yes oh weekend and all of them things there so he calls me he calls me on the way from a party one night drunk as ever um and giving me all of these promises and whatever and that should have been red flag number one for me like honestly i don't know i don't know what i was thinking but you know you you're young you live you learn you move on <laughs> but yeah so um i it, he John making all these promises oh, oh my gosh i should make you meet this person you couldn't be ambassador for this person whatever whatever i'm like okay i need to go and he's like no don't go oh my gosh i need to talk to you and i was like i'm gonna go and then he's like okay when i'm home i'm almost home i'll call you um he calls me many times that night i think it was like one o'clock in the night my phone rang the whole night i looked at the phone until it stopped ringing and all of these crazy things you understand and he like the messages were crazy like he sent me normal text messages not whatsapp messages like who does that nowadays yeah i still do that sorry but yeah um he's like hey oh my gosh don't go to sleep i need you and all of these stuff this is a drunk him talking by the way and whatever anyways the next day he tries to talk to me as if nothing happened he doesn't apologize well not necessarily that i wanted an apology for him for being drunk and messaging off my phone but i just think for somebody who you're just meeting and you're probably trying to make impressions or whatever it's kind of rude but whatever i don't think it was the next day but i tried to kind of ignore it and i told my business partner about the things he said however and my business partner is like i don't really trust this guy this person but here's what you're gonna do and he told me all the stuff things i should do so over time you know um we continue talking and he's like um i really want to invest in your business and whatever 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 so i'm like okay maybe he's really mind you this person we're gonna call him pablo because i hate p names i really do and at this point i don't really hate him but kind of do because he got my hopes up 
and yeah so now anyways so he um pablo he pretty much was getting my hopes up he's like oh my gosh i can make ambassador for this and that and that and that oh and he he owns or presumably he owns a distributing company he owns I think he owns three businesses. I don't I I don't really want to load up him thing because yeah we don't need to be out here bantering people and it's all in the past but it's just you know you kinda have to keep your head up. So eventually though he he asked me to do a proposal and I do that. I do that and I'm like okay proposal time boom bam let's go send in the proposal he sent something like oh i want greater returns on investment so i said all right i never did want to take advantages so that i, I started like on uh, like on a like us uh, wait i don't want to say on a like smaller scale with the amount of it, what i wanted him to invest so he was like okay um i want greater returns on investment go back to the drawing board and bring me something greater so i said great get more money for my business them you know i'm gonna set my good anyways i go back to the drawing board do that i send him everything and he doesn't get back to me really so i have the receipts actually um i don't have every receipt but i have the most important receipt so i send something about um i message him like during the day and not not the same day like a couple days after i message him like at 4 37 and I, i'm like um did you get the seat um um could you give me feedback could i get your feedback on what i sent earlier this week no reply that was 4 37 so at 10 46 i message him and say hi good night not too long i seen hold up but yeah would oh <laughs> would you like to give me some feedback on what i sent you he sends hi with two eyes I'm like okay all right um so i sent are you busy or are you able to give me that feedback so he sends no limits and then g easy after that yeah i knew no limits was a song but i really wasn't getting the connection so i was like are you listening to that lol so the next thing he sent which was red flag number red flag number two and after red flag number two i was really out and i wasn't going to make it make reach i red flag number three three he sends f it and get some money and then he sends the emoji with his finger on with its finger on its lips some water emojis um and then an old man so i'm assuming he was thinking i wanted him to be my sugar daddy like what and then after that i didn't message him there is literally there was nothing there to message him because i was like okay i know where your mind's at all right, me not go down the road there. Eh? Um, yes, it was nice knowing you. Goodbye, and done it so. So you think that he'd get the message that oh, um, I didn't answer him. Um, couple days after, he messages me on Instagram. He's now blocked on Instagram. I was trying to find those messages, but then I realized I blocked him. Um, later the messages and everything. So yeah, I don't have the receipts for that. But he, I posted a picture and he commented on it i didn't answer and then um like he said something like lovely or whatever and then he messages and said why are you being so rude so i'm like you expect me to be nice to you after um you kind of played me along and you know you like basically i was saying he was rude and he you know can't he disrespectful for you know wanting me to do that just for some money and whatever and he's like oh my gosh it's a joke so i'm like if it was a joke then and whatever you know if you if you want to get business like you don't you don't run jokes like that you really don't 
and the fact that you know i didn't answer after you know he sent that that last message in my whatsapp you think that oh he would like try and tell me oh it's a joke after like after the fact that i didn't answer no he thinks we're good and but you know some guys are dull like that but yeah the whole moral of this story is that don't be colorful guys oh, that's number one and number two keep you know your head straight you know vet everything that everybody says you know put them to the test which is what i did thanks to my business partner you know but funny thing he was like i knew he was up to no good um yeah you should listen to me but yeah i i did the, the whole testing and whatever and i was like yo this ain't worth it um kudos to you who can you know do stuff and get money i i can't i can't i won't um i don't judge you though but i'm not that person and yeah don't be gullible and try you know keep your head in the game you know don't make people trick you into certain things though because you know just because they might give you money and all of them things there you know your standards and whatever but anyways this was my story time about this weirdo investor and oh my gosh what made it even weird too he started requesting um me sending back pictures and arm pictures when i flex and all of these stuff it was just so weird and he's like oh my gosh i want these videos and stuff to be exclusive to me and i have to be i had to be like you're weird and i'm not sending you those stuff and yeah that was just creepy maybe it was a fetish or something for for him but i wasn't about to send him any of those videos because i don't know what he's gonna do to those videos or do with those videos so yeah that, that's why he was so weird and uh, yeah yeah beware guys just beware thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on instagram and on twitter did i forget to say anything but i don't know <laughs>